Hello, I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. Now I've cut both of these off about one and a half inches up. This piston is all the way down. And if I take this other rod and put the cam or the crank all the way down, I can find the spot where I need to cut. Now I want to cut, not even with this one, but I want to cut up just a little bit for adjustment. Give myself a, a few mil, uh, a few millimeters. There we go. About an eighth inch. Now I don't want to bend the crank or anything else, so I can find that gap. I can probably squeeze it a little bit more. Yep. There we go. I don't want them to pop and break and throw a bunch of vibration. I'm going to bend this back and forth just a wee little bit. That's one. I've already measured this one as well. The same way. I put this... The displacer by the weight is already down. And I couldn't really bring this over because it's very long. But I went ahead and made an educated guess. There we go. And it looks like it's just a little bit too long. So I'm going to knock a little bit more off. I'm probably about... There we go. That looks pretty good. I don't know where the other piece went. I hope it ain't inside the engine down here. Don't see it anywhere though. Alright, now. Before I want that to look down in here. I want this to be able to rock this way. Not this, you know. So I've got to turn this first. And get this set in the direction it's going to be setting all the time. And this is down, and this is down, and I've got... Hey, they almost touch. I want just a little bit more off. We're going to be able to adjust this without a problem. Because we're using a piece of pen filling as an adjustment rod. There we go. Yeah, that leaves a nice little gap there. Hope you can see that. Sorry about the lighting. There we go. Now what I have to do is the same way I cut off all the little bearings and bushings. I'm going to cut a piece about that long right there. I don't know if you can see that. About the width of my thumb. One inch. If you put your fingers down on it and then press the razor blade down your pieces won't go flying give me another one inch piece it looks like I got about enough for the other sterling engine when I get it uh, to get it going now we have these two pieces slide one on here I say slide I have to just about push that pretty hard and push this one on which isn't all that hard just a thinner coat hanger that I made that piece out of and maybe I ought to go ahead and put the super glue on this one first this is the easiest way I know to adjust these things out believe me I've made quite a few doesn't take all day and you're going to get maximum travel of everything that you measured as an educated guess one drop of super glue coming up and it's inside set that up now once you get it threaded on here you want to push it on kind of quick so it don't try to get solid on you, you want almost halfway this cam or crank is going to be able to go up quite a ways so you got plenty of room to play with oh yeah that's going to fit in there great now we'll do the other one this is the one that fits rather loose 
I'm sorry, I'm out of the camera view again. There we are. Slide that piece on. Just about halfway. We'll be back and we'll adjust this thing out. And then we need to fly and find some flywheels and a heat source and see what kind of fun we can come up with. I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. Many good things to you and yours. All right. Well, basically, I've got this just stuck in that hole. Let's start with the uh, piston first. Oh, I had to make another crank. As I was turning it, it just broke. Kind of like, I guess I had scarred that one before. So anyway, I just made one more and stuck it in there. And we caught back up, got all the bearings set up. What I want to do is this piston is all the way down. I want to turn this all the way down, put a drop on it, and then I want to push down. Just give it a little bit of bend on the shaft for a second. You got to pick that piston up. Now I've got a very minute clearance at the bottom. That is now adjusted. If I can get a little more super glue down inside the tube, travel down, that would be great. But that'll hold. It's down almost touching the other one, so it's got a half inch of grab. Let that sit for a second. Play with this one. Now, I made this crank a little wrong. I've actually got the uh, displacer running a lot shorter a lot shorter stroke than it needs I'm pretty sure when I turn this I'm not going to touch the top and I'm not going to touch the bottom either yep so that's pretty much adjusted then with that rod there that sure does help on a lot on adjustment Pen filling makes a nice adjuster. You can crank it all the way around and it don't slap either end. You've got it somewhere in the middle and pretty much at uh, the stroke that you've already uh, designed for it. This place is sure is heavy though. That thing wants to jump down quick. Well, we got a cure for that. I don't hear it slapping the bottom and I don't hear it slapping the top. Uh, right here to the side, I need one more of these little eye hooks, somewhat like this. It's going to be pulling up, and it's going to have a rubber band on it. And that's going to be making, it's going to have as much pull as the weight of the displacer is, so it'll wind up, when it sits, it'll set sideways like this. If I got it up here, it's too tight. If it's down here, it's too loose. So that's basically the way it's going to run. I don't like weighting the flywheel because when the flywheel goes over this way, it makes your machine want to rock this way. And then, then the weight comes around over here and flies over here. It's not a very quiet machine at that point. That, that looks like it's down at the bottom. Uh, did we touch bottom? No, we didn't. We're all right. I'm going to let all this dry before I do anything else. I think I'm going to glue this little bushing right here where my thumbnail is. And use it over towards here because that's more straight up and down. Yep. It's real just where I got it all set. That's where it is. Everything's straight up and down now. I'll take this bearing over here. This is the one that spins free. This is the one I super glue. Mm -hmm. Let's get that on. The only thing I got left is flywheel. Equalizer uh, spring or uh, rubber band. Put a flywheel on it and I guess that'll do it. Hello, I'm Scott Brown, Green Wind, and other home energies. Many good things to you and